Okay. Uh, okay, now get this. Uh, Asus motherboards for a long time have enabled Windows Secure Boot by, or just generic, you know, UEFI Secure Boot by default. Secure Boot support was introduced with Vista. So it's always been built into Vista and successor OSs from Microsoft, thus Windows 7. Consequently, when Windows 7 systems have been installed on Asus motherboards, which had secure boot enabled, those Windows 7 OSs were configured by the setup system with secure boot, which the OS supported by default. Then, for reasons like... like a week and a half ago, for reasons no one, that is still not explained, Microsoft reclassified a previously optional Windows update, which is KB3133977. They reclassified it from optional to recommended. What that, of course, did was install itself on, on Windows 7 machines. What does 313-3977 do? It removes from Windows 7 its support for secure boot because it's no longer supported, in quotes, so everybody who had Windows 7 installed on Asus motherboards last week, when they rebooted their systems after this recommended update had installed itself and removed secure boot, was greeted with a big red warning from the BIOS with the title Secure Boot Violation, the system found unauthorized changes on the firmware, operating system, or UEFI drivers. Press OK to run the next boot device, meaning give up on, <laughs> on booting your hard drive, because, of course, you can't, or enter directly to BIOS Setup, if there are no other boot devices installed. And then it says go to BIOS setup, advanced, boot, and change the current boot device into other secured boot devices. Anyway, wow. this is I just... Mean, that's what we have. Uh, don't you have an Asus motherboard too? Um, on your, um, oh, my new one your was new one? a... Uh, gigabyte. You bought Gigabyte. Gigabyte, yeah. yeah. We bought Asus. So yeah, I and, guess I can't do Windows Update. <laughs> oh, my God. Well... So, so what? What's crazy is like, there. Microsoft seems to be doing things that that are hard to explain. Yeah. Um, th of course, the conspiracy theorists say, "Oh, here's yet one more thing Microsoft's doing to try to move you from Windows Seven up to Windows 10. Is like make Windows Seven no longer boot on your Asus Jeez motherboard. Louise. Yeah. So so the problem was this there was no clear connection between the you know just doing Windows update which doesn't normally or isn't supposed to render your systems unbootable and then this big red BIOS warning saying secure boot violation. What you, you how would you put those things together? And I it's funny because as I was putting these notes together, I was reminded of my discovery of the that very first spyware that that from that Oriate company. Right, right. That's where I created opt out. And and what happened back then was that that 
Freeware was surreptitiously installing this Oriate spyware, which was designed to to be a a uh, kind of a central server of ads for that freeware and of any other Oriate enabled freeware. But because it was surreptitiously installed, what, what one of the problems was the Oriate freeware was it, it there, somehow it hooked into IE, but it broke IE for many people. So, so they install the freeware and, you know, use it to check their shoe size or whatever the heck it was doing. And then they go to use IE, which is now broken. And so they think, oh, that's odd. Well, first of all, there isn't a connection between the two events. It's obvious. But maybe they uninstall the thing that they installed thinking that it might have some connection, except that the instructions were because many different pieces of freeware were might be using this central ad server, which you had unknowingly just added to your system, the, the explicit instructions to developers who included this Oriate stuff was don't remove it because other software may still be in the system which uses it. So you would remove that bad stuff you had inadvertently downloaded. Um, that is, you would un uninstall the freeware. It would leave the Oriate stuff behind still screwing up your system. And we only found out about this when I created opt-out to find it and remove it. And then people said, oh, my God, my browser works again. <laughs> and, I, and I was thinking, what? <laughs> how, how does opt-out fix your browser? And so huh. it was by reverse engineering that wow. all the, the, you know, the whole tale was finally uh, uh, uncovered. But no, so similarly here is... You know, you're just installing Windows updates and suddenly you're getting a secure boot violation, which just seems crazy. Anyway, so Asus has responded. They've got a patch for the BIOS. Um, maybe users, uh, presumably users, if they figure it out, can disable secure boot and tell the BIOS, okay, calm down. Uh, we, For whatever reason, we no longer have a secure boot capable OS because Microsoft just decided to rem to take that away from Windows 7. So, you know, I mean, again, I, I'm, I'm becoming, I mean, I'm an, I'm a Windows developer, Leo, you know, never 10. It was important for me to be able to, to crank out never 10 quickly. We're at something like 335,000 downloads and 5,000 a day. And so it's been a huge, I mean, I get all this great feedback from people. So I'm glad I'm able to respond and Windows still is the majority OS in the world. So it makes sense for me to be here, but boy, I mean, Microsoft is just becoming hostile to their users, and and and, and I I'm I'm with you that it just it. does not just seem like the place yeah. I want to be. It's that's a mistake. I mean, it's not. I can't be. It's not an intentional. I can't buy with that. It would be intentional. And and it just you're right. I I I, I you have to imagine that somebody at Redmond is in trouble. For yeah. not testing this or not well, that's considering the How consequences not... yeah. of 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 retroactively revoking secure boot capability on an OS that has it. Right. It's like what? Yeah. Why? Odd. You know, and and based on the protocol of secure boot, perhaps I mean, perhaps they have to do this. But this is Unfortunately, this is something that should have been th better thought through. Is it possible you know, that uh, somebody in the chat room is saying Asus implemented their own secure boot? Is it possible Asus did something non-standard and that's why they're... I mean, obviously, they're different than anybody else. Um, good question. All, all, all I encountered in digging into this was that they enable secure boot by default, it may well, well be that does. other motherboards. No, no, I mean, everybody. For, does. for example, I, no, my my gigabyte motherboard supports it, but it's disabled. Oh, really? Oh, interesting. Yeah. Well, and so I think if you build your own, that makes sense because 
you could then put Linux on it. But if you buy a Windows machine, Secure Boot is always on by default. Right. In fact, that was a requirement up until 10. Uh, well, wait, uh, up until 10, it had to be on by default, but you had to be able to disable it. Right. They've softened that a little bit where it's now sort of unspecified. Uh, so far, all the systems we've seen, you are able to turn it off. And, of course, the industry is is sort of in a in a quandary at the moment uh the you know alternative os's need to either know that they'll that systems can have it disabled or or um uh or be able to support it themselves yeah so it's not quite sure where we're going to go but I, I think the future is secure boot that be, because of problems with root kits and and just trying to tighten security up to me this all feels a little bit backwards though L look at the list of fixes that we just had today in windows in terms of you know anyone visit basically touch the internet and you could have some you know malicious code run on your system okay and we're worried about you know something affecting the boot i mean yes that's a problem we should fix that too but boy look at the inconvenience that that brings to the rest of the ecosystem you know no inconvenience to microsoft they're able just to say oh you know we're going to have secure boot and we're going to make everybody else do it too right well i remember a lot of, a lot of linux users were upset about that because yeah. again the conspiracy theory was oh well microsoft doesn't want you to put linux on your windows machine and you do, in fact, have to disable it to right. use Linux. But you can disable it. So it's not the end of the right. world, right?